Hey guys, it's Lori. Just doing a P3 check-in with some food porn at the end or towards the end anyway. Maybe in the middle. Wherever it ends up, there's going to be some. So today is, I believe, day 11. And my safe zone number, My I didn't do an LIW. I didn't weigh that day. So calling it my safe zone number is 144.2. And today I'm at 145.6. Um, so I'm 1.4 above, which I'm okay with that. I haven't been out of my safe zone, so that two-pound window. Um, but I think I'm doing pretty good considering... Well, I think I'm doing pretty good anyway. But um, considering that I've had Tom and I've been through a full moon and uh, what else? Oh, the shoulder pain, which I still have, by the way. Um, it's not nearly as bad as it was last weekend, but it's still here. So, um, trying to baby that a little bit. Uh, but between that, Tom, the full moon, I haven't been exercising because of the shoulder. There's no way I'm going back to the gym with this going on. And, um, it's actually keeping me from being as active as I normally would be. I'm doing, you know, pretty much normal activity, but not as much as I normally would, I guess. <coughs> You'll have to excuse me if this video gets chopped up a little bit because I'm getting some kind of a cold. Um, this happened to me one not too long ago when I made a video. I just kept having coughing attacks, but this is because I really am getting a cold. I've got my son's got bronchitis, and I think I'm getting it. I've got it in my chest, and um, I have a sore throat. So I'll try not to chop it up too much. Yeah, I've been planning on. I my plan was actually to be back in the gym by now because I do have a membership and I'd really rather be an active member as opposed to a contributor, <laughs> you know? I pay for it every month, come on. As far as Tom, he's still kind of here, spotting a little bit still, and it's day nine, so, you know, I just don't know how long it's gonna last. Never know right now. But anyway. Okay, so what have I been eating? Well, probably a few too many calories. I'm not entering my food into any, you know, my fitness pal or anything like that. Um, I haven't actually done that for a while, but I did it for a long time. Every single bite I took went into my fitness pal. So I'm pretty familiar with what I can eat. You know, I kind of know how many calories I'm getting just by, just because I did it for so long. But I know that there's been some days where I've been over the calories I should probably be eating right now, which I try to stick, MP3 I try to stick with around 1,200, but I'm, I'm sure I was over that a few different days. Um, not because I overate, but because of what I ate. I'll tell you a little bit about what I'm eating. No sugar, no starch, first of all. Just like Dr. Simeon says, no sugar, no starch, and P3. I'm eating the usual proteins, you know, well, unless you're vegetarian. Probably not getting the same proteins as Tejo, but, <laughs> you know. Anyway, um, I'll just tell you some of the things I've been eating. Burgers. We had burgers one night, um, and we I made almond, these almond buns to go with it. I'll have to do a video on that sometime for a cooking video. But anyways, we had burgers one night on almond buns, and with that we had salad. Um, another night we had um, tuna cakes. And what do I have with that? Green beans, buttered green beans I had with that. And uh, now I can't think. I had all this different stuff in my mind before I started this. Well, we had, we did end up eating the steaks. We had those one night. Um, not for a steak day, just because that was supper. That's what the guys wanted, so that's what I cooked. But we had that with salad. I made macaroni and cheese for boys. But um, John, I had salads with it. And... Another night I made, oh, I made the pork supper from the Cheap Easy Low Carb channel. And the tuna cakes are from the, the um, Kent Altness channel. I'm going to put links down below to both of those, just so you know. If you want to check those out, they both have some really good recipes. Oh, when I made the pork supper, I made the same side dish. If you go see her video on how to make that, I made the same, same basic side dish that she made with daikon. It's kind of like a potato casserole. but um, she puts mushrooms in it and I didn't have any mushrooms so I actually chopped up some broccoli I already had some broccoli chopped up so I threw that in and 
I put some cheese in it, so it was really good. Um, so go check that out. Um, another thing, oh, another thing I made that I know was too high in calories was the fathead pizza. So that that was it was too soon for me to introduce that, but I did. Everybody wanted pizza, and so did I. So I made it. Um, only only a few days into P3, it was just too soon for that much cheese. It's a lot of cheese. Um, another night I made chicken chunks or strips or whatever shape they happened to be in. <laughs> that's that's what I made. And what that was was the leftover um, chicken that I had portioned out for P2 that I still had in the freezer. I just got it out and um, I do breading. My breading is different. Sorry, I was coughing again. It hurts my shoulder to cough, by the way. Anyway, my breading for my chicken is different every time I make it. I don't think I ever get it the same. I just, it's whatever I'm in the mood for. I use, I almost always use Parmesan cheese and crushed pork rinds. And I can mix all that stuff together and come up with different stuff every time. Sometimes I'll throw in coconut flour. Um, I, I put in whatever spices I'm in the mood for. You know, it kind of depends on if I'm breading pork or chicken or whatever. But, you know, it just doesn't really matter. Just whatever you throw together, it works. Um, I do usually put it in the freezer. After I, I get it cut up and breaded and I sit it on a plate and I'll stick it in the freezer for, I don't know, 15, 20, 30 minutes, whatever just because that makes the breading stay on when you actually put it in the grease. Sometimes when you put it in the grease, the breading like all comes off and it's like, oh, wow, well, that sucks. But if you put it in the freezer first, it doesn't do that. Um, a couple nights we had leftovers. Um, I almost always cook enough food for leftovers because John takes food for lunch every day. He never gets lunch at work. Um, he always takes whatever we have here, something from here, usually leftovers from the night before. And, um, you know, sometimes it's just a busy night and I don't have time to cook or maybe I just don't feel like it. So we have leftovers. Um, and like John and I had leftovers one night, just the two of us, because the boys, the one night they ate at his mom and dad's house. And uh, another night they came, it was a snow day. They didn't have school that day. And they took off and then when they ended up coming home, um, I was getting ready to make supper and they said, oh, we already ate. So, you know, don't worry about us. And I'm like, well, where'd you go to eat? Did you eat at grandma's again? And they're like, no, we've been out shoveling snow all day and we made some money. So we stopped at Subway on the way home. <laughs> so I said, okay, whatever. So, uh, it's probably about enough of the food talk, I think. I can't really think of anything else offhand that, that I've eaten, but, <laughs> um, I mean, I've had some other things throughout the day, you know, like in the morning I might make myself an egg or not in the morning, actually. It usually ends up being closer to lunchtime for me because I just don't eat breakfast. Sorry, I don't. It's the way it goes. Um, I can't stand the thought of food in the mornings. I'm sure I've said that before in a video at some point in time. So anyway, doesn't matter. I've had some Ezekiel toast here and there and um, with sugar-free jam on it. Um, or if I make if I make an over easy egg, I'll put that on the toast and eat it that way. Um, cheese, I, I eat cheese once in a while to snack on. A few almonds here and there, not too many because I'm honestly kind of sick and tired of almonds. I've had an Atkins bar here and there in the afternoons, just to kind of tide me over. Um, I can't think of anything else right now. Just basic stuff, you know, real basic actually. So I finally have myself all set up to do cooking videos. <laughs> I got the tripod that I was telling you guys about, and um, it came, and I, I took it out, and I started opening it up, setting it up, and one of the legs just fell right off, so it's like, oh, well, that's not going to work. <laughs> so anyway, that was broken, so I um, sent that back, and I got a completely different one. It wasn't exactly what I wanted anyway. It was too small. It was, like, really short, and um, it was really chintzy, actually. It wasn't very sturdy at all, so... Um, I didn't pay much for it, but sometimes you get what you pay for, right? So anyway, um, got a different one, and it came, and it's really nice. I like it a lot, and it was actually fairly inexpensive, too. But, um, and I can, Hayden's getting a little loud out there. And I can upload from my phone now, too. I figured that out. Um, well, I didn't really figure it out. I just, I signed out and signed back in. Susie was telling me to do that, and so I did, and it worked. Now I can upload from my phone. 
So if you ever have problems with it, try signing out and signing back in. Maybe it'll work. Who knows? Um, and I also figured out how to convert my videos. So, yeah, I can do that. Okay, so that's it for now. See ya.